Gardar plugin is the best way to import your Autodesk Inventor files into Cadasio. First of all, make sure you have a Cadasio account. This is really easy to do, simply go to www.cadasio.com and click sign up. All you need to enter is a valid email and your choice of password and then click the sign up button. You'll be sent a confirmation email with the link you need to click just to validate your account. Next, you'll need to get the add-in. Go to CAD add-ins and choose Inventor to be taken to the download page. From here, simply click the logo to be taken to the Autodesk Inventor App Store. You'll need to log in, but when you are, you can download our app by simply clicking the download button. It's only small, so it should be quite quick to download. And before you install it, make sure Inventor isn't running. When you're ready to install, simply run the file that was downloaded. We'll click Install Now, and it'll go off and start installing the add-in for, for Inventor. We need to enable the add-in, which you can do through the Add-in Manager on my Start menu. Cadasio should be listed under the available add-ins. I'm going to make sure it's set to load automatically and then I'm just going to click OK. We can now start Inventor up. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to use one of the tutorial files that comes with Inventor. So let me just get that open first. Great. If I now go to the Cadasio tab on the ribbon interface at the top, you'll see an Upload to Cadasio button that I'm going to click. A new dialog box will pop up and you'll see how easy it is to use. All I'm going to do is make sure I'm sending this to my projects. I'll give it a name and optionally a description. And then when I'm ready, I'll click Upload. Inventor will now convert the files and upload them to your Cadasio account. This can take a couple of minutes depending on the number of components and how complex they are. When it's done, we'll get an option to open it straight away in Cadasio. Great, so you should see my inventor assembly has come through pretty quickly and easily. And now we can start to use Cadasio to create my interactive instructions. I'm just gonna make a few very simple changes. I'm gonna move a couple of components as well as the camera and then just save a new step. Okay, so that's really basic. It's nothing fancy at all. It's really just to, to show you the next feature of the add-ins, and that's the update functionality. If I now go back to Inventor and make a quick change, we can propagate that change through our Cadasio project. So I'm gonna do something really basic, and let's just whack a hole in it. I'm not bothered about its size or its position. It's just so that there is a design change. And if we go back to the main assembly, you see we've now got a, a hole in that green base. Now, when I go to the Cadasio add-in again and click upload to Cadasio, we'll get a different message. Cadasio knows that this assembly has already been used previously for a Cadasio project. So it's wondering whether we want to make a brand new project or whether we want to update the existing one. I'm going to say update. We'll get a list of the available projects to update. And we can put some change notes in. So added whole will do. And I can click update. Once again, it will go off and start to convert the assembly files and upload them to Cadasio. Whilst it's doing that, I'm actually just going to go back to Cadasio. And you'll see actually straight away, because it's quite a quick small assembly this, we'll get a pop-up saying new file version available. It tells me the version and tells me the comments that I added. And I'll have the option to set it as the active file. So if I click yes, Cadassia will go off, reload those files and update all the steps accordingly. So you can see that in every step, the model's now been updated. So we've got that hole in there. And it wouldn't matter whether I've got uh, two steps as I've got here, or I've got 200 steps. 
change that I've made into the, in the inventor assembly appropriated through and it saved me a lot of rework and it means I can start my technical communications a lot earlier on in the design process. Okay, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions, head over to our forum and you can find us on all the usual social media sites.